Radioactive decay begins with an unstable nucleus. Consider, for example, the unstable nucleus uranium-239. Now we're only looking at the nucleus here. The electrons are far, far away. Since it's uranium, we know it has 92 protons. Since it's uranium-239, we know that the total sum of protons and neutrons in the nucleus is 239. Therefore, if we know there are 92 protons and 239 total in the nucleus, there must be 147 neutrons. This nucleus is unstable. It has too many neutrons. So it needs to change its configuration so it has fewer neutrons and more protons. Here's how it happens. Through a process that's not very well understood, the neutron somehow finds an electron within itself. It then spits that electron out. Now think about it. Neutrons are neutral. They have no electrical charge. If something that's neutral spits out a negative charge, what happens to it? Well, it was neutral. It got rid of a negative charge. Therefore, it must now become positive. In other words, the neutron turns into a proton by spitting out an electron. So now this is no longer uranium because it doesn't have 92 protons anymore. It has 93. Atoms with 93 protons are called neptunium atoms. This particular neptunium atom still has 239 things in its nucleus. After all, it didn't spit out a neutron, it spit out an electron, and electrons don't count in terms of the nucleus. Only protons and neutrons do. By simply changing a proton into a neutron, the total number of things in the nucleus didn't change. So this is neptunium-239. Now that electron that was spit out by the neutron, that continues to speed away from the nucleus. It's called a beta particle, and that's actually the source of the danger behind this kind of radioactive decay. That beta particle is moving so quickly that it acts like a little bullet. And that little bullet could either kill one of your cells or mutate your DNA. If enough of that occurs, you can be in serious trouble.